lambs were born this afternoon. We're just trying to save these lambs. It wasn't looking good. The ewe is very tiny. The little ram continued to decline. And a minuscule amount of colostrum. This was going to be... Today's story is all about how even though you may be as prepared as you think you need to be, sometimes life throws you unexpected circumstances. We needed to move the ewes over to the barn because lambing was due to begin the next day. We didn't think that anyone would actually give birth the next day. There were no signs apparent. We knew we needed to get them moved over uh, and the rams separated and get them all prepared for the lambs. We had noticed that some of the ewe's hair was falling out and we thought this was just normal because hair sheep lose their hair every year around this time of the year. But when we got a closer look, we realized that the hair loss looked a little abnormal and so I was going to call the vet the next morning and get some advice on what we should do. I called the vet's office in the morning and waited for their call back. He called me back that afternoon we determined that the most likely reason for the hair loss was lice and that I should treat the ewes immediately before the lambs started to arrive. I headed out to the farm store to get the necessary supplies. As I drove past the lambing barn, I noticed that not all of the ewes were outside together, that one was missing. I ran back to check and see what I would find. First lambs of 2023. Here they are, Hope. Two little lambs. I don't know what we have yet. We just got them in the jug. Hope here is our flightiest ewe. So I need some backup before I can handle her or the babies. We need to uh, strip her milk. Make sure she's got enough for these babies. My husband arrived shortly and we quickly determined that the ewe did not have any milk at all. He handed me the lambs and the little ewe lamb was just about unconscious. I felt their mouths, they were ice cold, and I took them immediately into the house to warm them. I hoped we could save them, but I wasn't optimistic. There's a big difference between mostly dead and all dead. I put the lambs into warm water in the bathtub and I got to work setting up a warming box. The lambs had gone hypothermic due to not being able to get any milk from their mom. I had to get their temperatures up over 98.6 and try to get some colostrum in their bellies ASAP in order to save these lambs. It wasn't looking good. We've got a little ewe here on the right and a little ram on the left. The ram has a little more strength. The ewe is very tiny and she was just pretty much lethargic from the moment I put her in the lambing jug. So I brought them in, I put them in a bathtub of warm water, trying to get their temperature up. Uh, the ewe's mouth was cold, no sucking reflex. The ram's mouth was not quite as cold, but still colder than you want it. And he still had a little bit of sucking reflex, but while I worked on warming the ewe, he continued to get colder. I did not have colostrum on hand, and while my helper was rounding that up, the little ram continued to decline. So we got them warmed. They are 
temping out at 99.8. I've gotten a minuscule amount of colostrum in them, maybe a half an ounce. Um, I'd like to see quite a bit more. So we're gonna keep working on that, keep warming them, see what happens. So a recap of what happened. The lambs were born this afternoon. I'm not exactly sure what time. I found them about three hours ago. The little ram lamb here, he has warmed up and has drank about 300 mils of colostrum. Um, he's been the more vigorous lamb the whole time. And this little ewe lamb, she's not doing as hot, but I have them both warmed up to temp and we're just trying to get her to drink. There she goes. Good lamb. Good lamb. Oh, thank goodness, sweetie. Okay. Oh, well, that was about 50 mils. You're cold. She was shivering, so I put her back in the warming box. Um, she's had maybe about 100, 150 mils, so I'm hoping that's enough to keep her going. Um, her little brother here is doing a lot better, but he's still kind of sleepy, but he's been up and active. So I don't think we're out of the woods, but I do think that he has a chance at making it. And I do want to take this opportunity to thank you, Sandy Brock. I know that you're not going to watch this video, um, but if it weren't for you, I would not have known how to save these lambs, how to warm them up and get them over their hypothermic episode and and give them a chance at life. So um, thank you. Thank you very much for everything that you share with us on your YouTube channel. It, it's made a difference so far. Last year we lost two beautiful ram lambs and we didn't know why. And now I know why that you doesn't have a milk supply and we didn't know that so now we do and hopefully we'll be able to save both of these lambs this year. His mouth is warm much better than what it was earlier. Look. Happy to see that. That is a good sight that your head's up. How are you doing? You look a little shivery.
just put the babies back in with mom. They're trying to nurse. I consulted with the vet about the ewe's lack of milk. He suspects that she had probably had a low-grade mastitis infection in the past and it damaged her bag, but it was just below detectable levels, so we didn't really notice that anything was wrong. This ewe had lost her twins last year, and because she is so difficult to handle, we did not check her milk supply. She had a huge udder. The twins looked like they were nursing off of her, but in hindsight, now we know that most likely they weren't getting what they needed and we should have checked her for milk. But the fact that these twins were still alive meant we were learning lessons from last year. We would bottle feed the lambs in addition to leaving them with the ewe so that they could get what they could off of her and be socialized as a sheep. This was going to be part of our lives every few hours for the next several weeks. Not bad, we started with 12. Ended with three. how the babies are doing and so far Taco, the first ram and his sister, Taco is 14 pounds, his sister is 10. They started at 7 pounds 11 ounces and 5 pounds 3 ounces. They're two weeks old today. 